In January 1945, Seaman Second Class Austin Bell Swear Engine boarded the USS Franklin with the Navy with the US Navy headed for the Pacific Ocean. On March 19, 1945, the US Franklin was attacked. Austin Bell Swear Engine lost his life just ten days after he turned 19 years old. On night on March 9, 1926, Austin Bell Swearingen was born in Texas to Walter and Claire Swearingen. By the time he was in grade school, the family lived on a 100-acre farm in Cecil, Arkansas. Austin spent his childhood and high school years in this small community in Arkansas. His family, his father was a coal, mi coal miner and worked miles from home during the week, walking to work when gas was rationed. His father would return home on the weekends to spend time with his wife and children and family on the farm. Farming was an important part of the family's life. Austin's mother, Clara, worked to care for the children and farm while Walter was away. Austin's mother was remembered as a hardworking and determined mother. Letter, Austin's letters from home show the love her family had for her. Aust the swear engines had seven children. Austin was the fourth child and had three brothers and three sisters. As a young man, Austin attended a nearby, Char nearby Charleston High School. He was captain of the high school basketball team and enjoyed literature, math, and detective adventure stories. He hoped to study agriculture in college and the, family home, and the family's home in Cecil in Franklin County, Arkansas was a very small, was a very small community. The Arkansas River divided the county in two, with Charleston and Cecil on one side and, and, of the river and, Ar and Ozark and Altus on the other. Ozark and Charleston had the population, populations of 1,000 people in the 1940s, and, and rural Franklin County was based largely on agriculture. When, the swear, when swear Engine went to San Diego as part of a war effort, he wrote later about his experiences in the big city. And in the spring of 1944, while still in high school, Swearingen completed his draft card. As his draft records show, he was six feet tall and, nine, and 139 pounds, giving him the lovable name of Skinny. Two of his bre older brothers had, are, were already serving in Europe. On August 1, 1944, August, Austin caught a bus to Arkansas, Arkansas, Camp Robinson, several hours from his home. Three days later, he enlisted in the U.S. Navy, writing on his paperwork that he wanted to serve his country. On August 6, 1944, Swearingen rode a train from Arkansas to San Diego, California for boot camp arriving on August 14th. While at boot camp, he was selected for radar, school, for radar operator school. Upon receiving his radar operator certificate, Swearingen wrote, back, wrote on the back to his parents, you can say with pride, my boy is a radar man, gee whiz. Since he had always dreamed of being a writer, he even signed this letter, and others, as Shakespeare. Swearingen valued his education and took correspondence courses through the University of Arkansas while in the military, but never finished earning a college degree. Christmas 1944 was spent at Point Loma Naval Base in San Diego where Swearingen and ate in the mess hall with his new friends. By New Year's, he had a new mustache, sideburns, and he wrote that he wrote about home. In January 1944, Swearingen was assigned to the USS Franklin as a seaman second class, and he was headed for the Pacific Ocean. He spent much time writing letters and waiting for much needed letters from his family. Swearingen wrote, I can make it fine as long as I can be assured that I'm getting a big sack of mail every time we have mail haul. His last letter home from March 14th, Swearingen wrote, You can't hide from life or live in fear of death and be happy. On March 19th, a Japanese kamikaze attacked the U.S. Franklin in the Pacific Ocean near Japan, dropping a 500-pound bomb on the flight deck. Over 700 men died. On April 5th, the Swearingen family received a telegram that Austin Bell Swearingen had died and was buried at sea. Seaman Second Class Austin Bell Swearingen posthumously received the Purple Heart 
and his family received a letter from the President Franklin D. Roosevelt when Austin, Austin's belongings were gathered after his death aboard the USS Franklin. His college textbooks were among his personal items. Austin did not finish college, but in 2013, Austin Bell Swearingen's great niece assured that his dream of becoming a writer was fulfilled when his letters were published and the story of, his, of this courageous young man from rural Arkansas was shared with others.